Hello, hi, hi everybody. My name is Yelena Lem and I'm one of the Written House Square Fine Art Show artists. Uh, this is Written House Square Fine Art Show Virtual Edition, June 2020. Welcome and welcome to my studio in Pittsburgh. I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for more than 20 years now. I originally came here from Russia and this is where I got my art education and training. So here I am and this is my very first time participating uh, and being accepted to Rittenhouse Square Art Festival. I'm super excited about it. It's really upsetting for all of us that we don't have a live show this year but i'm happy to be a part of this wonderful series of events that written house square organized they're doing a wonderful job promoting their show in this virtual edition and here we are this is my studio it's in highland park neighborhood of pittsburgh I'll show you around, I will show you my works, talk about it, and I will do a little demo. Also, uh, you can visit me on my website and for the time, or for all three days of Rittenhouse Square Arts Festival, I'm offering, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to read the comments here, but I promise it will get better. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to say, there is a coupon you can use on my website. It is 20 off, just 20 OFF, 20 off. And this is 20% off everything you can purchase on my website during the days of this art festival. Okay, I want to introduce my son, Nikolai Lem. He's right there behind me in my studio. He's going to help me. He's going to help me with the comments, with questions, and I will try to answer all the questions you can have during this presentation. Let me try to turn the camera. Uh, how do you, here we go. That's the sign, okay. I'm flipping the camera and showing some of my paintings and I'm starting with the portraits of my cat. So this presentation is about me painting pets. I want to tell you a little story pretty much about how it all started with my pet portraits because I've been painting for my whole life, but I only started painting pets uh, about two years ago and this happened when my cat Rio got sick so this portrait you see right now that was the very first pet portrait I painted and that's a portrait of him and that was my own art therapy so Rio needed two surgeries and he's fine now and in fact I really wanted to introduce him to you guys but Right now, he, oops, reconnecting. Something with connection, but looks like it's good now. <sighs> okay, so Rio was not in a good mood and right now he's hiding under the couch. Anyways, he's a magnificent creature. He's main coon cat. And after this portrait, I painted some of him. And here's also another portrait of Rio. And I started accepting commissions to paint pets and animals and I'm switching back to my face. Anyways, hi, hi again. And I just couldn't stop painting pets. So it became, it really became my passion and that's what I do mostly now. So I'm, sometimes I also paint other things. I paint still lifes, I paint portraits, people portraits, but probably pets, painting pets is the most important uh, thing for me. 
right now. And you, you all know how, how important pets are for us, especially in difficult times like this. They can comfort us, they like really give us so many positive emotions. And I just don't imagine how would my life be without my cat, Rio. So yes, just believe me, he's awesome. And if at some point during this presentation, he decides to go from, come out from under the couch and join us, I will introduce him to you guys. Okay, I want to show you a series of paintings I recently completed. Here, let me switch the camera again. Okay, uh, I started with this one. Here it is. Here are the peaks. That's like uh, the first time I tried it. I tried this format, I would say, and and I really enjoyed it. And what I love, I love painting animals. I love depicting their characters, and it's like. I think it's I think it's fun. Anyways, this is kind of like a conversation piece, and I call this I call this painting conspirators. So yes, they're really they're up to something. This piggies. And here we go. Next one, actually, next one was this this one, this alpacas. Okay, here are my alpacas, and this one I call lunch break. So yeah, obviously they're like, have a nice snack. Here we are. All these pieces, all the paintings I'm showing here, they are available for sale on my website. And uh, you can visit Treatment House Square Fine Art Show uh, website and uh, there is contact information for all the artists participating in the show and my uh, link to my website is right there and it is uh, yelenalem.com so here are my alpacas then i painted this cows the cows i really have a thing for cows actually my sons i have two sons they call me moo i don't know because maybe they think i resemble a cow or they also <laughs> nikola is laughing back there or they cows just Cows are friendly, cows are beautiful. Anyways, and I hope I resembled some of their beauty on this painting. So this one I call Girlfriends. Oh, I can hear Rio meowing from under He's the coming. couch. He's coming out. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll let him settle and then I'll, he'll talk to you guys. Okay, here are my cows. The next one was this one with the horses so there are four horses these paintings are uh, these paintings are 12 by 30 inches and i want to talk i want you to pay attention and look at the frames so i'm very proud of the frames frames i made them myself and they're made out of reclaimed wood. Here we go, I just, you see, and this is a horseshoe, like real connection. Okay, the connection is on. The horseshoe, I attached it to the frame and look at this wood. So anyways, <laughs> I think I should talk more about paintings, but I think this frames really complement this artwork. Colors. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for the comments. Can I say something? Yes, I can read. I'm reading the comments. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. So, and, okay, the cow, cows, cows, and there is, there is the cowbell. Also, a vintage one. I bought it on eBay. Attached to this frame. So, that's my frame framework and for the pigs you see this hinge that's also like real and vintage okay 
So these paintings are listed on my website, all these three paintings and more on my website. They are listed as unframed, but for everyone here at the Rittenhouse Arts Festival, I want to make another offer and if you guys purchase any of this painting, I will sell it with free shipping and with the frame. So here we go. That's my another promotion. Okay. Oh, Rio is out. Rio, here is Rio. Here is my cat. And he's, he's out. He's out now. Okay. And he's marrying. Okay, Rio, calm down. Everything is fine. Everything is going to be just fine. Okay, more paintings here. Here's the god and the horse. And this one, the cats painted during the corona, during the time of self-isolation. And I asked my friends on Facebook what, uh, what would they call it, what kind of title they can offer for this painting. So someone said it should be called why are you still home so i think it's like really funny anyways that's the title i think that's what these cats really think so hey what are you doing at home <laughs> love the horses thank you thank you very much okay more paintings here another cow yeah i told you i have a thing for cows and this cute little portrait of cat. This is a ginger cat. Ginger cat. Okay, the goat. This painting was made as a demo. Another alpaca. Some chickens. Okay, there's a question, Nikolai. I think, I don't know how to pronounce, I think Rhino, Rhino. Sorry, I probably did not get that right, but um, they asked, would love, would love to know, to know more, more about the process of pick it, for picking my subjects. Uh, okay, what to tell about picking my subjects. I, you know, I follow a bunch of accounts on Instagram, look, always looking for inspirations. So sometimes I see something that I think, okay, that can be converted into a painting. I look for references from my friends, from my own photographs. And uh, this series started with, I think I saw a picture with like four stable animals. I think they were goats, like looking like this from like over a stable fence. And I was like, oh, that can be a painting. And that's how this series started going. So then became the, like, then came the cows, uh, pigs are first. And this series is going to continue. So I think goats will be next. So I was thinking of painting goats, actually. My sons love goats. So I was thinking of painting goats and, and I painted cats instead. So, uh, there is going, the cats are also going to be framed. So that's the next framing project for me to frame cats and alpacas. Yes, they're all going to have frames. Uh, so really for um, selecting the subject, it's like it may be a sudden thought, oh, okay, like I, I really like this animal. I want to do something about it, paint something. So honestly, I do, I'm not sure what's coming next. I said the gods, but then following the gods, maybe surprises. And I also work on commissions. I'm painting a bunch of commissioned portraits and I, um, I love doing this. You know, I like some artists like are kind of skeptical about taking commissions. I love doing commissions because I love to know, to meet more people, to meet more pets. And with each and every commission, I'm trying to um, you know, learn about this particular pet.
cat or animal and about this person. And I always ask my clients to send me more references, uh, tell me stories because it's like really can help me to, um, to show the character to not just likeness, but um, the essence of this particular subject. So, okay, here are small, a series of small cat portraits. So that's another little project I started during Corona times. And I had lots of fun painting these guys. They're like six by six inches painted on wooden panels. They're really fun to work with. And I think, okay, here we go. That's better view, they're cute. Okay, now let's go and see if my cat wants to talk to us. Come on, Rio, come on, come on, come on. Let's, okay, here's Rio. Here's... Come on, okay, I'm leaving camera. Okay, here we are. And Rio is right here, saying hi. Come on, Rio. Okay, it looks like he but doesn't want to say hi. I can hold him for <laughs> okay, guys. Sorry, I think meeting with Rio is becoming a disaster. So we'll just let him be. Oh. Here he is with my son, Nikolai. For show the size compared. The size, okay. He is a big cat. Okay, everyone could see that Rio is a huge cat. He's main coon. And he's the love of my life, and I'm sorry, Rio, that I had to torture you, and he doesn't like it here. <laughs> yes, Rio is a huge hat, and I think he is going back into hiding. <laughs> He's going back into hiding and we'll just leave, leave them there. Okay, what I want to do now, guys, I want to start a little demo. We are about 20 minutes into our presentation and uh, we have another 25 minutes. We are going to be done at 11.45. So right now I will Okay, this is my workplace, and this is the painting I started. This is a commissioned painting. So we'll do a little work on this painting while you guys are watching. And I will answer any questions you have. So right now I'm, I need to take this phone and put it into this tripod. Turning it around and putting it here and switching the camera back. Okay, here we go. So that's what I usually do when I work. I have my iPod here and, oops, here's the reference photo. Here we go. So that's two kiddies, that, that's commissioned portrait. So how do I get the reference? So obviously my client, she sent me a bunch of photographs, like a ton, and it's not easy to photograph a pet, especially a cat, especially uh, when we want a double portrait, of two cats. So they were not in a picture together. I chose the photos I like, the photos I think can work from a bunch of references she sent to me. I combined them in Photoshop, so they are together, and they're going to be together in a portrait. So, okay, and this is the beginning of work, pretty, pretty much like I only spent like maybe like 40 minutes here, maybe less. So some preliminary drawing. Uh, sometimes I'm doing more precise drawings. Sometimes like, okay, let me show you. Here, here is the alpaca. That's the drawing. I did before I painted 
this one. So just experimenting, uh, trying to see if I can be like more precise that I can take this drawing, transfer it. I do uh, all transfers, how it works. I trace the drawing and then I uh, apply some oil paint on the back side of tracing paper and just use a pencil or something to go over the drawing after I put it onto a canvas or panel or something and it's like just uh, using this oil layer, paint layer as like the way we would use a carbon paper. Okay. Here is another one. The drawing I use for this got got painting I have here. So that was a demo I was working on and I had to prepare the drawing so then I can like do the transfer and paint this demo. I spent probably about like an hour, hour and a half on this demo, but after I had the drawing transferred. Okay, so for this portrait I'm working on now, I decided to just, you know, go this natural flow without any um, preliminary drawing, just like, you know, start putting it on canvas. Uh, a little bit about, about my palette. So uh, here are, okay, I don't wanna move this camera instead. Okay, here we go. The paints I'm using, and there's this wonderful artist, I'm uh, probably, some of you know about her. Her name is Jennifer Genere. I absolutely love her work. She's painting pets amazingly. And I took her workshop and that's the palette she's using. It's just 10 colors. And I started using it after her and I really, I just hooked onto it. It, it just works. It just gives me absolutely everything I need or like 99.9% .9 of what I need to do my work. Okay, now I wanna do like, start putting some brush strokes on this canvas. Uh, Nikolai, if there are some questions, please let me know, okay? Yeah, because I'm, right yeah, because I'm not looking at my phone right now. Okay, positive comments. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Ludmila says your art is amazing. Thank you, Ludmila. Okay. Let's go. So it's a black cat. And actually, it's a, like there is a challenge in painting black cats because uh, I don't know why. Because it seems to be like not that many colors, but there are actually a lot. Like there's like tons of colors. So I will try to bring this sweet girl here to, not to completion, because there's like lots of work, still a lot to do, but maybe Catherine, you are welcome and thank you so much for being there with me. Nancy Das says I love this therapy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for positive comments. It really it warms my heart and it's like always good to hear guys. And don't forget to go to my website to use the 20 off discount code if you want to purchase any of my paintings please contact me if you have any questions outside of this presentation or if you know if you want to know more about my art or if you want to commission a piece always like for any kind of information please don't hesitate to Contact me. Wonderful work, Thanks so much, Jen. OK. 
Okay. So I'm just trying to find more colors in this cat and there's really a lot so this simple black consists of so many different shades and it's, it's pretty amazing and it's fun to work with I just I really really like painting black cats Okay, Nikolai, are there any other questions no, so far? No, no questions so far, just supportive comments. Thank you so much for all the comments. Okay. Try to get some of your eyes in. Yeah, I can hear my cat mewing. He's out from under the couch and exploring the territory. Give you his treats, Nikolai. Okay, I want to. I'm going to do a few more brush strokes with this thicker brush and then switch to smaller brush size to go over your eyes and nose. Okay. Okay, so I'm switching to smaller brush size. I'm going over some details on this kitty's face. Now, Catherine Carr says, what brand of paints do you use? Uh, hey, Catherine, I'm using, actually there's like uh, different, different brands, uh, some gambling, uh let's see what else i have here i really i like Senilair. they're like really nice paints nice and smooth and soft uh some okay okay willemsburg okay this one this one is special this is naples yellow and only vazari makes an actual Naples yellow. Other brands have it too. They call it Naples yellow, but it looks completely different. It looks more like yellow ochre or 
anything, you know, anything at all, but not like this. So this is like really bright, rich color. It um, can be mixed with paint, with other colors instead of white before you introduce white. Um, by any means, it's lovely color. And okay, for the whites, this is Rublev's uh, lead white. And I also really like the way it works. It does not chalk your, your color mixture and it gives just gives you just enough, you know, uh, body, just enough opaqueness while still being pretty translucent. Anyways, it's fun to work with, so highly recommend. Sasha Phillips says, love that Naples yellow, that's the stuff you... <laughs> yes, I know, Sasha, thank you, and thank you for being there. Naples yellow is fun. Okay. Doesn't look like Kitty's eyes. Okay, I need an even like smaller brush. Go with this layer. Okay, guys, we have like a little less, like 13 minutes, about 13 minutes left on my time here. And I will just keep going with this painting. And you please feel free to keep asking questions or sending your positive comments my way or both Catherine Carr says thanks very interesting finding the right tools and materials to make or break your nose it's it is true it is true and it's uh, about finding uh, materials it's important and it's always you know there are like so many discoveries you make along the way like i don't think you could ever think that you know everything that's out there <laughs> there are always new surprises um, Says Yelena, can you talk a little bit? Can you talk a little, a little about what colors you are mixing as you go? Thank you. Okay, hi Jen. So right now I'm in cat's eyes. So I use yellow ochre, I use emerald green, and I use that Naples yellow. Here to make it darker, I added a little viridian. Okay. And looks like Rio, Rio is fine now. He's walking around. He's brushing against my legs. So he's back to normal. Thank you. Rio, I'm glad you're out from under the couch. Okay, I want to brighten up her nose a little. I know, do you guys actually see there what I'm doing here or does it look like all black? Because I can hardly see what's on my phone. Let me try to move it closer. Okay, no, you can, okay, Nikolai, you can see it, okay? Okay, you can see it on your small phone, then means people can see it well. Because I just wonder if like there is enough uh, contrast there and enough light, because like I see what I see in real life on my canvas, but it may or 
may not be as um, clear on camera. Some light to her face and here. Details, bring them back. Okay. There is still going to be a lot to do on this face after we are done here, guys. But and I will definitely post the finished product on my web page, on my Instagram account, uh, and I'm here on Facebook. I'm weak, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Her name, she said Inspire. Nick, thank you so much. Okay, let's get back to her eyes. Now some lighter bluish shades around her nose, some little accents. Okay, and I do want to make a little more is her eyes while we are still here and before we are done and while we are still here I want to thanks say thank you again to the Ritten House Square Fine Art Show and I hope next year we are all going to be in, in Philadelphia and this art, wonderful art show is going to happen in real life and I hope to be there. Joanne says she's coming alive, exclamation mark, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Joanne. Uh, it's not yet, but she's in the process. I'm sure I'll do a couple little tricks of her before we are done here to kind of bring her to life. But again, it's still going. It's still a process. Still going to be a bunch of work after we are done. But. things with like little sparkles in the eye and another one to do a little bit of pretty neutral background color here. Oh, 
also add just a little highlight on her head, kind of blue highlight. And this a little bit. Thank you, Sasha. Okay, and of course, this is not completely done, but what we do with the whiskers, just scratch them. And this is always fun part. Actually, this kitty is going to have some darker whiskers going around, like going on top of lighter background here. That's another process. Will come later, but here, but now, and just add some. A little fluff to this kitty. Okay. Okay, so I'll leave it right now, right here, because we only have a few minutes left. So I want to take the camera and here I am back again. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. I hope you, I answer some of your questions. And I want to thank say thank you to Rhythm House Square Fine Art Show once again and once more and I want you guys to enjoy these presentations. Mine was the first one and I'm very honored that I kind of like you know I had to start this series of presentations to open this virtual show June 2020 Rhythm House Square Fine Art Show and uh, we only have a few minutes left. I'll show, show you around once again. Here's Nikolai who was helping me. And some portraits of my cat. Thank you, David. Thank you for the comment. I work again, my little workspace here, little kitties, and again, go to my website, use 20 off coupon for 20% off all original work, everything on my website, contact me with any questions, Thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much for being here. And David also said, David says he did a great job. Yes, yes. Thank you, David. So good written house. Yep. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, everyone. Michael says thank, thank you. Thank you, Michael. Michael. Thank you, Renault. Okay, that's me again. And I just want to thank everyone once again. Hello from Pittsburgh. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy other artists' presentations. Thank you.